everybody in the company, co-founders, myself, Doug is COO, uh, Justin is CTO, Sal is CMO, Casey is head of marketing, Brett is assistant to the marketing team. These are all the main full-time positions. Katrina is a project manager. Jerry is executive assistant. Cassie is customer service. Choki is uh, head of social media. Andrew, head of editing. Eli, production. Jackie, show notes. Obviously have a lot of contractors. Marlon, Serene, and, and then there's back-end stuff, right? It's Holly, who is our accountant. You have Mark Sherman. I do this all the time. Like when people ask me to list them all off and I always miss like one of my employees and I feel terrible, so. Chokey, social media director, Cassie Cus Yeah, I got everybody. Wow, look at that. I got everybody. Today we're gonna meet everyone at MindPump. <laughs> How many questions do you have for me? <laughs> Let's talk about the most important person, Justin. What is Oh what is finally. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, let's talk about him. Uh, Justin is loves the tech side of things. I mean, you know that, Eli, you shoot commercials with him and he, he geeks out on all those things. So it's very natural for him to be the CTO. I call him the X Factor for the podcast. Justin found his role in the podcast as the color commentary guy, the, the humor guy. Sometimes when people come in here, it's a little stuffy. It's a little academic. Uh, it's a little bit uh, organized, you know. You need a little chaos. Today. Okay, that's, and then that's start a good start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Start yeah. with something fun. Yeah, tease me for not making it here today. Although Adam and I do a lot of the talking, um, if it was just Adam and I, it would be probably annoying to most people. It would be just lots of, you know, stuff about me, 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 and whatever. That's when Adam talks. And then it'd be like information, information. That's when I talk. And then uh, that's it. And people would probably hate it. But Justin is likable and funny, and he rounds it out. He's the X Factor. So without him, uh, we would just have a lot of probably haters. So we have uh, Caldera today. Following that person, like, yeah. That's the only commercial we have is Caldera. Yeah, and we got to think of better ways to, than just always talking about my beautiful skin. Well, I've been using the delectable Oh, Justin's been using it. Yeah. Oh, you have. Well, Justin was definitely the guy that I said. I don't know. Well, let's just see how Justin develops here. Adam loves to talk about how he likes to be a leader, so we let him think that. So he walks around and he tells people what to do and... This guy sounds full of what this guy's talking about right here. You know, you gotta let him do his thing because uh, if it keeps him good, you know, it keeps him happy. He kind of sees from all angles. He, he knows what we're doing. He's a bit like Santa Claus. There's nothing you're doing uh, right now, Eli, that I don't know about. There's nothing Chokey is doing that I'm not aware of what she's doing. I mean, he texts me all the time and like tries to get me to tell him what I'm doing, but I mean, there is one thing I haven't told him. Like, he doesn't know that I've been doing this. If he's happy, he does a good job. If he's upset, he like pouts a little bit. Yeah, he's telling me I pout. The like that. He's responsible for partnerships. He closes all the deals for us with uh, all of our awesome sponsors. I don't know. That's yeah. the, pro the problem is I don't have all the numbers in front of me right now, so I can't make that decision. So I'm sending her a message right now Then we need to get on a call and then solve all this. And we need to be thinking forward so this doesn't happen again. He has no problem at all telling people how it is. This is exactly what I about in December because I knew Everybody plays a very significant role. You got your, your eggs and your flour and your milk and your sugar, uh, and you, you make a cake. And without one ingredient, it's disgusting. So uh, we're all an ingredient to this cake that we call Mind Pump. Doug wears a lot of hats. I'm gonna give the guy some props here. He's uh, audio guy. He's uh, basically the back end support. Uh, he's also IT. Uh, Doug's also uh, finance. Recording the podcast, editing the shows, running around with a camera and a pack of audio equipment, uh, filming the YouTube channel. Generally speaking, I can handle it. Doesn't mean I like it, but I can handle it. Making sure those videos are edited, shipping out t-shirts, handling finances, forming LLCs. What do you mean Adam's sneakers aren't deductible? Doug, 
listen, you don't want another audit. Plus, we have many expenses we need to go over. Ah, uh, opening bank accounts. Yes, I have worn every single hat in this business. Late night viewing of all of our videos uh, to make sure they're good. Uh, he's our spell check. Oh my God, Eli, learn to spell. Um, it, he's just, uh, he, he's the guy we, we rely on a lot on Doug. Poor Doug. Give the guy a break. You know who gives the guy a break? Jerry. Um, and then there's a lady uh, that works in the front. And um, she appears, I mean, apparently she knows our base camp scheduling really well. So I don't know how, how she got access to that. Yeah, 9.14.50 total. <clears throat> For a long time, I didn't sleep a lot. I'm now getting like seven, eight hours of sleep. Thank you, Jerry. Sal is laser focused on fitness, nutrition, fitness and nutrition. He has an amazing, I would say, close to photographic memory, at least on some things. What, can, do you remember, Sal, what everybody is wearing today? Um. Adam, black shirt, black hat, mind pump, Justin, gray mind pump shirt, Doug, blue Viore shirt. Sal's photograph, photograph, photographic memory is uh, very real. In fact, um, he's the dumbest one of all of us, uh, but most people don't think that or believe that because he sounds so smart. I just read a study that uh, if you drink, they studied a bunch of men, and men who drank more than three cups of coffee a day reduce their prostate cancer risk. So that's some light reading I had the other night um, on uh, prostate cancer and the things that can lower the risks of prostate cancer. Uh, Sal writes most of our content, most blogs or written anything, white papers, the free guides that we have. He oversees our marketing team, so that's why he's the CMO um, and he just naturally fell into that role. Our marketing department sent me about 20 blogs that they want me to do. Uh, now uh, we got people that come in and out um, and some or appear to be more regular than others um, and I think they uh, they're volunteering their time they're, pro they're probably fans of the show uh, and they want <clears throat> to be a part of this this, uh, this mind pump podcast so and I recognize some of them they've been here a few times there's this one you know kid nice nice kid and uh, he sits in sometimes when we podcast behind the camera he does a very good job for us. He's involved with our YouTube channel, like posting videos. What would Doug do? What would Doug do? Okay, okay. I turned over the editing of the Mind Pump show to Andrew, the actual podcast. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on when the guys are talking before the podcast starts recording that it would just not fly on the, on the show. You know, Sal loves to go It <laughs> starts talking about this and that, getting super <laughs> Adam and Justin, they just like to crack jokes, make fun of each other, and uh, sometimes <laughs> All this stuff before the show. Uh, I do listen still to every podcast and every transition that he does. So, Andrew, I'm watching you. When in doubt, what would Doug do? Um, I know that Adam's wife does stuff for us. Katrina is a long-suffering companion of Adam, <laughs> who just happened to look in the window right now when I was talking about him. She does, definitely does a lot of things for us, but I think it's for Adam. As a mother, she has her child to take care of, and then she has uh, three more children to take, or four, I should include myself, four more children to take care of here. And then there's other people that kind of flow. There's one, oh yeah, there's this um, young lady, I can't remember her name. I know Sal's a smart one, but he looks at me all the time like he doesn't know who I am. Hello. How you doing? How long have you been listening to the show? Like, bro, I picked up his kids from school like three times. How do you, how do you not know who I am? Um, she's very enthusiastic. Uh, uh, it'll come to me in a bit, but that's it. Is that Chokey? Uh, I think her name is Chokey. When I posted it, they had said um, that they're like happy to send more product like anytime we post it. My impression of Chokey, again, like Andrew, she's, she's quiet, 
extremely sweet. I mean, she is probably the, one of the sweetest people I've ever met. Yeah, okay. ready to go. Does it look good though? Cause last time it literally looked like trash, Eli. I can't say I, I've gotten to know her really well, but what I do know of her, I really, really like. She's an amazing person. It's super run and gun. I can't. What, too what much. does that even mean? Like, did you go to school for this or? No, I, I dropped out of school. I can see now that she's taken over the Instagram account, she's doing an absolutely amazing job. Basically, sometimes like I don't feel like answering the DMs because I get like over a hundred every day. So sometimes I delete them, dude. <laughs> Is this live? Yeah. She's a trainer. She looks like a trainer. And um, sometimes she goes in the back and uh, we let her take supplements and stuff because she's cool. Hey mom, you know the Keon Omega-3 oil that you said you wanted? We actually have some. Do you want some? You can't take that. Yeah, That's Sal said it was cool. So at Mind Pump, we have values that we follow. Uh, Mind Pump's core values. Um, authenticity. I was there that meeting. I sat in on that. Uh, pretty sure integrity was on there. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a radical honesty. Uh, proactive pride. Passion, integrity, I don't remember the rest. There's another P, I know there's another P. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much mind pump um, core values is pretty close to what I live. <laughs> I should get, I don't want to do that one now, okay? I bet Adam knows them all. Knows them all. He loves stuff like that. You should ask Adam, because he probably is like, Five of them, there's uh, three Ps, right? So there's passion, proactive, pride in work, uh, radical honesty, and growth mindset. God damn it, Doug, you know t-shirt time is my favorite time of the week. <laughs>